I was raised with a, a, an ethic of in life you get what you give, and if you want a lot, you got to give a lot. From the day we opened, we began to do things to help from a social standpoint, from a cultural standpoint, from a community standpoint. And it's persisted over all these years. We have a foundation where we've raised just about three million dollars in the past 12 years where we can help send young culinarians off to cooking school if they can't afford it. We always wonder, I mean, how does he have time for that, the restaurant, writing the books? But I've never seen such a generous and giving individual who will literally take his entire staff and put them to work for this individual cause. We do things where, whether it's a dinner in your home where it could raise anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000 and we fly there with our team and bring the wine and the food and everything and prepare the meal. Probably 200 such meals have taken place. I can't think of sometimes a weekend when I'm not going to some event where they're not where he's not offering up the restaurant in a way uh, to help that school, that church, that hospital, that community group, that uh, uh, you know after school program. I'd like to welcome you all to today's excellence program. We are honored to have you with us. We started the Charlie Charters Culinary uh, Education Foundation uh, 12 years ago, and along with it was the Excellence Program. I'm going to invite everybody to take a seat, please. He has a program that he brings kids in from high schools, and they get a meal, they get, but they get introduced to the culinary arts, to think of this as part of their future. And it's open to every high school in the city. But, uh, tonight's meal is a study in, in organ meats and innards. Like basically stuff that I personally would never eat, but I, I, figure, I figure for you guys, it's probably gonna be pretty cool. And you'll have to let me know how it ends up, so. The only price of admission is that each young man and woman and the, the teacher chaperones have to ask two questions. Let's talk about organic food versus not organic food. Uh, sustainable farming, what does that mean? It's, it's quite inspiring for me to be with folks that just wanna take away an idea. Always will we'll be helping when we can. Um, my biggest concern right now are with uh, children, the children of America that just might be starting life behind the eight ball. And how do you help them just get a hand up or a leg up on, on, on life?